What is monetary inflation? Definitions matter when describing the relationship between changes in the money stock, or total money supply, and inflation. For example, the first definition of inflation given by the American College Dictionary is any increase in the currency not redeemable in specie. Other definitions consider inflation to be a general rise in the price of goods, which may or may not be directly related to the money supply. Quantity theory. The theory most discussed for the relationship between prices and the money supply is called the quantity theory of money. The quantity theory proposes that the exchange value of money is determined like any other good, with supply and demand. The basic equation for the quantity theory, developed by American economist Irving Fisher, is expressed as, total money supply x velocity of money, equals average price level x volume of economic transactions. Some variants of the quantity theory propose that inflation and deflation occur proportionately to increases or decreases in the supply of money. Empirical evidence has not demonstrated this, and most economists do not hold this view. A more nuanced version of the quantity theory adds two caveats. New money has to actually circulate in the economy to cause inflation, and inflation is relative, never absolute. In other words, prices tend to be higher than they otherwise would have been if more dollar bills are involved in economic transactions. Challenges to quantity theory. Keynesian and other non-monetarist economists reject orthodox interpretations of the quantity theory. Their definitions of inflation focus more on actual price increases, with or without money supply considerations. According to Keynesian economists, inflation comes in two varieties, demand pull and cost push. Demand pull inflation occurs when consumers demand goods, possibly because of a larger money supply, at a rate faster than production. Cost push inflation occurs when the input prices for goods tend to rise, possibly because of a larger money supply, at a rate faster than consumer preferences change. Inflation results when there isn't enough supply to meet demand. Equals whilst the volume of currency remains constant same but said the other way inflation results when there is greater demand than supply equals whilst the volume of currency remains constant inflation results when there is greater supply of currency, whilst the demand supply of goods services otherwise remains constant i.e. increase in net dollars as you say, with the Fed intention of creating and sustaining a steady, constant and perpetual general price level increase year on year the supply demand of an otherwise free market always seeks to balance the supply demand ratio thus it is true, that on average and over time monetary inflation does create general price inflation, that's the whole idea behind monetary policy thus monetary policy influences who benefits the most, from new money is printed and who loses as exchange vouchers in you pocket loose exchange value over time government never loses as their tax income keeps with ahead of inflation purchase power devaluation simply put inflation as the result of too much money chasing too few goods and services in 1920 a $20 gold coin would buy a quality tailored man's suit of clothes today that same $20 gold coin will still buy the quality tailored suit of clothes the price of both the coin by weight in gold and the suit have gone up considerably. That is inflation. Monetary inflation is a sustained increase in the money supply of a country. This is where the central bank prints or electronically creates money so increasing the monetary base which causes long-term inflation. Monetary inflation is the only cause of long-term inflation and the reason everything today costs 10 times the price it did in the 1970s. Monetary is the term related to money and inflation is the term used when value of something losses out the value by the time. Consider you can purchase apples at 100 per kilograms today, then with 6% PA inflation rate, you have to pay 106 rupees for 1 kilogram of apples.